Connie says, Matthew, I used your 40 texts. I picked the one that said, you know what I've been craving lately? He texts back what? I said, guacamole and homemade nachos. <laughs> I'm thinking of trying this new Mexican restaurant. He didn't reply back. What should I do? Well, you should take that as an answer, right? <laughs> like you said that you, you want to go to this restaurant and he's like, okay, right? He's not like, you know, that sounds good or that was fun, right? Because so, so his response tells you a lot, right? Like a lot of times women are like, oh, he didn't respond. Like, what, what should I do? And it's like, he's telling you something there, right? You're not going to force something with a guy. You can't force things with a guy, especially over text message. Can you build things with them if you connect with them in the right way? Yeah, absolutely. But where he is right now shows you that he's just like, eh, whatever, right? And he's not really in a space where he overly cares and he's trying to do anything with you. And so, you know, what you need to do is give him, give him some space, right? You told him what it is that you're interested in. He didn't even reply back to it. I mean, there could be a whole bunch of different things that are going on there if he's not much of a texter, because that's that's another problem that a lot of times women come to me with is they're like, well, he's not a texter. How do I get him to start texting a lot? Right. And it's like, if he's not a texter, why are you trying to get him to text a lot? You know, which could be this guy's situation that you're talking to right now. Is he a texter? Is he not a texter? If he's not a texter, you know, one of the things I talk about in the Forever Woman program, and I think is a very, very important thing to think about, and I talk about this in my texting rules program as well. Don't know if you got that or not. But basically, one of the things you want to think about is that if a guy's not trying to text with you a whole bunch, which a lot of guys don't, then you just use texting as a way to meet up. And don't try to build a whole relationship over text message and try to get him all super interested in you over text message. Uh, can you do certain things? Absolutely. But nothing beats meeting up in person. The magic is in the meetup. Remember that the magic is in the meetup. You want to meet up with them. You want to stop doing everything over text message. And instead you want to meet up because that's where the magic is. That's where you can connect with him in a real space and get him, uh, you know, cause that's when he's smelling your pheromones and he gets to see your body language and your, your flowing femininity and all the other, you know, feminine things that you're doing. I don't, that's probably not feminine, is it? I don't know. But anyway, the point is, is that you want to meet up and, you know, if you, reached out, right? You were engaging him and now he's kind of leaning back. And what you need to do is lean back and let him reach out and engage you and start setting up dates and doing that kind of stuff, which is far more important than trying to build some kind of relationship over text message. I hope that helps you there, Connie. Oh, Connie has more to add. Should I text? Should I not text him or wait a couple of days and text him? You shouldn't text him again right? If you send him a message and you told him what you're interested in and you're reaching out, right? You're initiating, right? Think about the, the other thing I talk about is my texting initiation rules, right? You don't want to be the one that's constantly initiating text messages with him because if you're doing that, you're chasing. That means you're chasing him. And if you're chasing him, he's going the wrong direction. And so you want to give him some space and just don't text him at all again, right? If he's interested in you, he will text you and start talking to you. You've already made some energy and effort. Give him some space. Let him be the initiator. And if he doesn't initiate, if he never initiates, it's because he's not really that into you. And you're probably not going to fix it over text message. So give him space, Connie. Give him space. <laughs> 